Good morning, you mother loving sunshines. Let's go. If you pick him up, he will come. to the park lot now of the trail but the thing is this parking lot is the finish line this is where we're gonna leave my truck and go and we're gonna drive back to gooseberry falls and walk the 34 miles back this way looks like somebody left a little trail magic yeah we're gonna pass on that we're fully loaded we have no room need some shoes yeah they'll pull it nice slow peaks Eh, a little too small, but that's where we'll be coming out. See ya in a couple days. All right, the boys are all getting loaded up, packed up, strapped up. We're at Gooseberry Falls State Park. This is where we're parking Tom's car. And now we got a walk of a big spur trail to make it to the actual spear hiking trail. Then we got about Oh, nine miles, and we will be to camp at Split Rock Campsites. Lots and lots of people a day. Stop to climb the rocks at Gooseberry Falls. Last time I was here, it was just roaring over that. Now it's just a gentle little stream. Some places through Gooseberry on the snowboat trails chest high grass I'm gonna about guess that's what it looks like from two harbors to Duluth on those snowmobile trails that people complain about just run them over that's all finally after 3.2 miles from the car we found exactly what we're looking for blue blaze in the SHT official sign this through here is all part of the new reroute um, up to Blueberry Hill. So this is all brand new trail since they had to go and redo it because of a property dispute with some hikers and the people that own the property said nope you're done. Don't screw it up for people especially if you don't agree with hunting or not. But that's what we're looking for from here out now. It's blue blazes. Now we're making, gonna be doing good miles. Oh yeah. Also was told that we might have a celeb, come across a celebrity hiker out on trail. He's coming southbound 
yesterday he was up by Tedagooch by the High Falls and he might be camping with us at Split Rock or he'll be camping at Blueberry Hill so we will cross paths with him you might have seen him in one of my videos before never really hiked much with him camped with him once but we'll see who it is to a nice pine forest. Crows in the background. Trees are starting to turn colors up here. Supposedly north of here by Luton. It's more color change. But so far we're loving this new reroute near Blueberry Hill to Gooseberry Falls. Thanks to everybody that has put in the time for all those boardwalks that we just crossed back there. Those were nice. And that had taken a lot of time. There's a lot, a lot of boards. But pretty soon we're going to be up here to the Blueberry Hill campsite. So we can get our packs off, take a break, eat some snacks, and go and... We'll drink up a bunch of water. Hydrate. Nice little steps. Out to a uh, gravel road. Blueberry Hill Road. No parking. Travel only because it's the SHT. Alright, not too much further, and we are at Blueberry Hill Campsite. Water, no idea where your water source is. Not from the way we came. Must be from coming from the north. But let's go check it out. We're gonna break up here anyway, so. All right, interesting. Some sights over there. That might be going to latrine maybe. Yep, I see a latrine sign. Here's the campsite. Looks like another tent site there. A little tent up there. Maybe one back there, don't know the deal. Ain't seen nothing promising for hammocks though. Sorry for the heavy breathing people. But holy crap, we just came up our biggest incline of the day. Hoping we have a nice little clearing at the top of this hill. I don't know if this is what they call Blueberry Hill or not, but holy moly. Hopefully we get our first overlook of Lake Superior. Or any type of an overlook, really. Oh yeah. There we go. This is what we're here for. Might have been one hell of a climb, but this reward is amazing. 
That breeze feels good too. But probably can't tell. Let me zoom in. Way over there, you can see Wisconsin. Those hills over there. Scanny. Whew. We've been following this ridge line for quite a while now, which they like to keep us up on. And once again, another quick, small, but pretty cool view of Lake Superior. Oh, well, yellow leaves, nice and bright. Right, we're getting closer though to the split rock loop spur trail to the wayside. Still haven't seen that celebrity yet. Bird rumor has it that he is either at the campsites that we're going to or he is waiting for us at the junction of that spur trail. So let's go find out. And now we're coming around the north side of this hill and we have a whole new view. Looks like the other side of the Split Rock River Gorge. Different views of the lake. Thought I'd be able to see the lighthouse, but I don't see the lighthouse. We must have to go around that other hill on the other side of the gorge before we can see that. But now we go down. Down is bad for me. My knees hurt bad for downhill because it's hard of because of the compressions every footstep that's why you use trekking poles to help absorb the shock uh oh i think we're coming across that world class hiker celebrity oh my gosh look at that celebrity holy crap delusive where the hell we go shit. oh god oh shit Oh my gosh. What's up, Shaggy? Hello, friends. Hi. How are you doing? Tired. Tired? You just started. What do we have here? Trail goes that way. I don't know what this is. Ravine or creek or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pool, no running water. Bridge. I'm pretty sure this is not the Split Rock River. But either way, pretty cool. Okay. Oh, the other side of the river's trail closed. That's the spur trail to Highway 61 in the parking lot. So, let's see. Where are we at? Oh, we should be right here. But they don't have a pin there. So we gotta go across this little bridge. And the campsites are here and up here. But that whole side's all closed. So tomorrow, we have to get down to that spur trail, walk underneath the interstate, down along the highway, and up on that spur trail to get back on the SHT. Oh, well, let's go check out this bridge. Who doesn't love steps? It's not a ton, but still. A little hard on the knees, but better than going straight up and down that cliff face. I don't think this is the main split rock river. If that is, it ain't running. We could be in some trouble for water. I'm 
And there's those two knuckleheads. That's a bridge right down there. Here we have the first look at the Split Rock River. Split, split Rock River. Not a lot of water. It's been pretty dry up here, it sounds like. But at least we know we got a water source. Once we get to camp, which is about a mile up this trail. And this is also the Split Rock Loop Trail. So it does come back on the other side of the river over there somewhere. No idea exactly where. Well, usually, whenever you start seeing wood, that means there's something good possibly be coming around the corner. Some type of rail to hear water down below. Oh, there's a waterfall some sort down there. See if we can zoom in. So, no idea how much closer we are to camp. Hopefully soon. I'd like to go sit down there in that waterfall. Cool off. But it's going to be getting dark here really quick. So, we're going to get hammock set up, we're going to get water filtered, and cook some supper. And possibly go and find firewood, if we wanted to have a fire tonight. Might not be able to see it, but that's a pretty cool waterfall. Look at that. Okay. As we all know what park we in, Split Rock State Park. Well, here you are. Here is Split Rock. Pretty cool. Oh, we got a waterfall back here. Double. Sweet. Go listen to that all night. Sleep like a rock. A split rock. <laughs> Pretty cool. But holy smokes. Can't better get here soon. So I'm pooped. It's tired. And look at that. We can still go uphill. Yippee freaking skippy. Damn it. Holy moly. I think we're to the campsite. Nobody's here. Thank God. Sweet. Well, the name is back there. It's probably, I'm guessing, the southwest campsite. All right. Looks like I got first dibs of trees. That looks promising right there. Yep. Taking it. We'll do a tour later. Wind down camp for the night. 10.6 miles today. We are at the Southwest Split Rock Campsite. We have to backtrack all the way back to the road. Not an easy trail by any means. So we'll see how sore the legs are in the morning. But 
for day one, signing out.